A chat with almost any village monk will give you an idea of the challenge Sri Lanka faces in repairing relations between its Muslim minority and Buddhist majority population. We'd like to talk with Muslim and Muslim community leaders to have a discussion and live in an amicable way. To be able to live harmoniously, Muslims need to realize this is not Arabia, this is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has a culture and a civilization and an identity. 31 men from this village are in police custody after violence in northwestern Sri Lanka on Monday. Uh -huh. Very trusting. Upananda Thero says the men were protecting the village and didn't attack Muslim properties. Nine mosques were vandalized and hundreds of businesses in more than 30 towns and villages were ransacked by what witnesses described as Sinhalese young men. A sailor, Wickramasinghe, is an advisor to one of the Buddhist nationalist political groups that are now the focus of government criticism after this week's violence. If I go to Saudi Arabia, if I say, I'm a Buddhist person, I need the rights. If you talk like that, what will happen to you? <laughs> so, we have to understand the reality. Right? This is a majority, it's a Buddhist people, Sinhalese people, there is no doubt. The real Muslim people, they understand that. Video of a police raid on a mosque where large knives were seized spread quickly on social media. It's thought this helped fuel anger, so the government shut down access to apps including WhatsApp and Facebook. But Wick Ramasinghe says the government hasn't done enough to calm the tension. If someone said this, uh, there is a weapon uh, in this mosque, then you know, these Muslim houses, then of course, emotionally, we are trying to protect our children, right? So we, we expect from the government to take a necessary action, uh, this, uh, control this current situation. At St. Sebastian's Church in Nagumbo, they're continuing to repair the damage caused after one of the eight Easter Sunday suicide bombers blew himself up here. He killed more than 100 of the 253 people killed in a series of coordinated explosions across the country. Most of the victims of the bombings were Sri Lankan Christians, but they're not the ones that have been involved in this week's attacks on Muslims. Rather, one minister is blaming Buddhist extremists for trying to tarnish the reputation of the government. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Nagombo, in Western Sri Lanka.